So, so I'll ask you. So, who who are you? Can you tell me your name again and where you're from? Jim Danowski. Oh yeah. I'm okay. And you from presented the yesterday. University of Illinois, Chicago. Right. Yeah. Right. And, and where are you from? I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. I'm a co-founder and director of the Institute for Open Economic Networks, and we're, right. we're based in Northeast Ohio. And yeah, uh, I saw your presentation. Oh, good. Good. Well, now so, you're reminding me. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so I was not the researcher type. Um, more of a practitioner, yeah. uh, where we've developed process and tools and different things um, to build communities and networks. I've done some things recently that would intersect with what you do. Good. Where, um, oh, we should stay connected. To demonstrate uh -huh. uh, how the Wayne State University hospitals are connected to community organizations in the metropolitan Detroit area, I took uh, all the news articles from LexisNexis about uh, Wayne State, uh -huh. and, and then I ran my proper non-extraction routine, uh -huh. and that pulls out not only the names of organizations, but people and places, oh. and then that file turns those uh, long names into unigrams. What, so what one, are unigrams? One, one string. Uh, oh, okay. So like, community health organization would not be broken up yeah. in the analysis. It would be all together, community health organization, community underscore health underscore organization. I see. And so the network then that you get is uh -huh. of, of these organizations. I see. And uh, you can see where where your clusters of organizations are and oh, cool. where you are yeah. relative to the organizations, yes. what the most central organizations see, that, are. That would be very helpful, especially well, I, um, with the topic the topic that you've uh, you're focusing on, healthcare is is number one on everyone's mind. And yeah, I just did it because uh, we were writing a proposal to NIH, and uh -huh. um, we wanted to demonstrate that aspect of what we proposed to do in evaluating different sure. aspects of the project. So, so what did you find in summary? Oh well, there were um, forty eight thousand proper nouns. And um, the network could have been run on 48,000 nodes, but it would be very difficult to interpret. Wow. So um, what I wanted is to have someone knowledgeable in the area go through and throw away all but the community organization names. I see. And uh, that's in process right now uh -huh. because it's such a time-consuming task. Sure, to filter. Yeah. Yeah. So that that part we haven't automated yet. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Huh. So, but if you know the names of the community organizations that you're interested in in advance, you avoid that step. Sure. You put you just load the names in. Sure. And it gives you the network. Oh, that's those nice. Organizations as represented in either the local press, like uh -huh. it, you can use a service called Newsbank, which gives you local newspapers, uh -huh. or you can use LexisNexis, which gives you all the major papers, ah. or you can restrict it to, say, uh, a particular metropolitan area. So so you're really sorting information that's been published? Yeah, seeing how organizations are, are linked in the publications. Like, I see. Like, how many times does community health organization appear with uh -huh. services for elderly? Sure. And, you know, where are they in the network? That yeah. Sort of thing. Yeah. Neat. Very neat. Well, thank you.